So in this lesson, we're going to be learning Patience by Guns N' Roses. Um, first thing we need to do and remember, if you want to play in tune with the original recording, you got to tune down a half step. Tune every string down one half step. So your low E would be D sharp, your A would be G sharp, your D would be C sharp, your G would be F, um, sorry, F sharp, your B would be A sharp, and your E, your high E would be D sharp as well. Um, it's simple from a chord standpoint. We got C, G, and we're going to be playing it like this a lot because we're going to pl be playing these little melodies with our other two fingers back here within the chord. So a G like that, an A, a D, an E minor, and we will need an F at just for one bar at the very end or a couple bars at the very end. Um, so, there's a lot of guitars on this recording. There's probably four acoustic guitars playing. So, it's hard to really nail down one specific part. So, I tabbed it out to give you an idea if you really needed somewhere to go um, that's, that's real specific. But we're going to kind of wing it a little bit um, and just show you the main parts to really make it sound right. Nobody's really going to be able to pinpoint, ah, oh, you didn't play that note right, or whatever, because um, it's, it's pretty loose in the recording. Again, a lot of guitars going on, so, um, but uh, we're going we're gonna to cover it, make it sound good. So, we have an intro, um, it's very similar to the verse, but a little bit different, and we have a chorus, and then we have kind of a, an outro, and then... Um, we have a couple solos. We're going to cover the intro solo and the main solo in, in the next lesson. But So, all right. The intro starts with C. We're just going to kind of play two downstrokes. Let me play the intro for you so you can hear what it sounds like. Okay, so that's the first part of the intro. So, um, the best way to probably approach this is to just, just kind of keep your strum hand going lightly in an eighth note pattern. And you can kind of strum a little bit, arpeggiate a little bit. It, it kind of really doesn't matter what notes you're hitting within the chord. So I'm just kind of going like this, if you're looking at my strum hand. just hitting various notes within the chord but then we got to really nail down when we get to the little melody part but um, to start out kind of a, a rake downstroke on the C I'm gonna do two of those then I'm gonna play this little melody so pinky on the third fret of the B string then off to the first fret then take your first finger off and put it back on Now, if you keep your hand going, it sounds a little better. It's okay to bump some other notes in there as long as you're holding that C chord. Then we're going to go to G. And the melody here is one on the B string, open B, two on the uh, G string, back to open B. And then a down, up, strum pattern there, if you want. That's what's on the tab. Then we go to A. And the melody here is three with your pinky, third fret, B string, to second fret, to open B, back to second fret. Within the chord. 
again, I'm kind of just keeping my hand going here. Then we go to D. And the melody here is three on the high E string, three, two, open, two. So it's really kind of a feel thing. You gotta just kind of play around with it. Again, keeping that hand going, keeping that hand, the, your strum hand going. Okay, so you're gonna play that twice. Um, if you want to keep it more simple, just but again, I think it sounds better. It kind of mimics all those guitars if you kind of keep your hand going. Okay, then we go into what is basically the chorus. There's a bunch of different strum patterns going on here too. You can do one that's uh, one, two, and three, and four, and so. So it's C to G, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, back to C, then E minor. C, G, D, okay? Um, let's see, real quick. So it kind of ends a little bit different in the intro than it does in the chorus. Okay, so that's one strum pattern. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. And it ends on D, and I'm throwing in my thumb on the low E string, second fret, to give it that F sharp on the bottom, the third on the bottom. If you can't do that, it's okay to just play a D. Okay, and you're just gonna let that ring out, and that's gonna lead us into the verse. So um, the other strum pattern is. So it's down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, so that's down, down, up, up, down, up. Now that's the strum pattern that I kind of feel like you hear more. That it might be more indicative of, of how it sounds to the ear. So um, either one will work though, okay? So that's your uh, intro. So then the verse is very similar to the intro, but we're gonna do more arpeggiating. You can, it's the same chord progression. You could really play it the same way as the intro if you'd like, but if you want to vary it a little bit, you know, you can just really, I'm just strumming. That's specifically what's on the tab. And then we have our. If you want to do it that way. But again, I, you know, you can really drive yourself crazy trying to get this exactly like the record. So I would approach it more from the same way we approached the intro. Now that part there is a little different. So when we go to the G, we're gonna do uh, two on the A string. So this is like the third of a G chord. We're gonna pick 
A string, D string, G string, D string. Then open A to a G because it's a walk down. That's basically what it would sound like with the, with the bass notes. So um, let's see where we're at. Um, and then you just kind of arpeggiate down that G chord. And then you go to A. Kind of the same way you do in the intro. You could even do. And then on the D, this is a pretty cool, more specific lick. Okay, so that's, you're gonna go right down the D. Open, but you're gonna start with the open E. And then you're gonna do a pull off from three to two. Like that, so. One more time. So that sounds like. Okay, so whole verse. Okay, one more time, nice and slow. Sorry. And again, that's just a kind of a variation of it. So um, that's the verse. And you, you can play that, that or, or like you did in the intro, any time during the verse. Okay, so then we have another chorus, um, which is basically, we've kind of already covered this for the most part, but let's go over it again. So we have down, down, up, up, down, up, G, C, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down. Now here, we do have something different. When you get to the D, we have this melody. So it's down, down, take your second finger off, hit a D sus two, back to D. I see down, 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 up. And then we have pinky on the third fret, then off, then open, then back to regular D. So, sorry, let me start that again. So with the whole chorus. Then you repeat it. And 
then you're going to do this part four times. Then back to the verse. Okay, so um, those are basically all the parts. Let me go to the outro here. So once you, uh, when you're coming out of the last chorus, okay, and we're, uh, this is the last chorus, say. On the last one, we're going to really retard it. And then we go into the... Okay, so that's just D and G for the outro, okay? So on the D, we're gonna go down, 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 then to the G is. So that's down, let's see. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Down, down, uh. Up, up, down, down, up, down, up. That's the strum pattern for the G, okay? And you're gonna play that 10 times. Um, on the, when you get, after the 10th one, so let's say this is the 10th one. We're gonna go to that F. Then back to G. And then D. This is the very end of the song. G. And then we have this. And that's how it ends. Okay, so that on that F, it's the same strum pattern as the G. Then we have this arpeggio. And that arpeggio is three to two on the high E string, then three on the B string, then two on the D string, uh, G string, open G, four on the D, open D, two on the A, back to your G. Sorry. Okay, so there you have it. That's all the parts of um, the main parts. We're gonna do the solos in the next lesson and um, just try to remember, it, it's really kind of a feel thing. And the more you can kind of keep your strum hand going in that eighth note pattern, the better it's gonna sound, okay? And you don't have to hit, you can keep your hand going and not have to hit every single eighth note. It's just you're ghosting it. So that's it for uh, Patience by Guns N' Roses. We'll see you in the next lesson.